y'all haven't subscribed to my channel, well, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit the red button that says subscribe. If you guys are colorblind, then hopefully you can read. Also, hit the bell icon to send me all the notifications for this channel. This will help you out with many other videos in the future. Or maybe you guys just like me. But please, subscribe to the channel. Please, please, please. It will help me so much. Anyways, guys, enjoy the rest of the content. Hey everyone, Codextual here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to run a server for your Grand Theft Auto 5. So, first things first, let's go and run through everything here. So, you want to go towards the 5m.net website. And when you go towards the site, it'll say download server, not commercial. Go ahead and click on it, and it'll load up another link. Then... It's going to show you all these settings, and we're going to go through them all. So, first things first is step number one. We're going to have to download the server itself. So, it's going to be on this link. Then, into your Windows build. Your master. And scroll all the way down, and you want the latest version. So, you click on that. And... This is the servers.zip, so I already have the uh, the file. Um, so once you get it downloaded, what you want to do is create a folder. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to do GTA 5, server, um, what have you. And basically, you're going to, after it's done downloading, you are going to get that server zip. Drag and drop. You can go ahead and close out of that. Next thing is, there's going to be a second link in the uh, description down below. So, what you want to do where it says in the green here, uh, clone or download. You click on that, then you download as zip. And since I already have it downloaded, we're going to go with the uh, CFX server uh, data master. And you're going to go ahead and drag and drop that in. And that's going to be all the way at the top. Well, it should be all the way at the top. You can go ahead and close out of that. And now, what we're going to be needing is the um, server config. So we haven't made one yet. So we're going to go ahead and right click, new, text document, server.cfg. Go ahead and click yes. So now it's in the extension type, uh, CFG, short for config, uh, configuration. Uh, we're going to edit with a notepad++. If you don't have it, download it. And we're going to close all but this. And as we go back, we needed that script. So if you scroll a little bit down, it will give you this script, uh, this example script. Copy that in. Paste that in. Now let's edit this. You can leave this how it is. Uh, everything else how it is. So a couple of things that you do want to edit is your Archon password. Uh, remote control. So give it a secure password. It can be whatever you want. Um, your host name, you definitely want to modify that. So as for me, it's Codexuals, you know. GTA server, or it can be Nolock Gaming Server, whatever you want to name it. Next, go ahead and save that. And we'll go ahead and close out of this. So, what we want to do is copy the directory so you click on that and highlight in blue or you can even right click and copy address as text and we're going to go ahead and go back to the root directory folder go to new and text document and this is where it's going to be a batch file a bat file dot bat um, gta Five start server. 
dot bat. Go ahead and say yes. Right click. Uh, we're going to edit. So we're going to type in some stuff here. All right. So let's go ahead and type in CD. Then backward slash. Or it would be forward slash. This slash. <laughs> then D. And we're going to go ahead and paste our directory in. Then we're going to go ahead and press enter. And we're going to paste the directory in once more. Uh, we're going to get rid of the uh, cfx-server-data-master. And we're going to go ahead and type in run.cmd. Execute. Server dot cfg and go ahead and save that and you can go ahead and close out of it and what you can do is create a shortcut and drag and drop to your folder or every time when your computer starts up you want your server to automatically start up with it um, hit control or not control the windows key and r at the same time type in shell colon startup then after you put that in, all you do is drag and drop the shortcut. But that that's it. So every time that your computer restarts, um, the server will restart with it. So let's go ahead and start up the server. And this will pop up. You want this check mark, the public network, and uh, the private network and the public network. You want them both check marked. Allow access. So this is going to go through its initial setup to get everything started. So that's good. You want that. Now, the next thing is, um, if you start up this and if you get a, uh, DD uh, or dot DLL, uh, error such as this here, let me go ahead and, um, up the font. So, if you get these errors, it will pop up in a box on your screen. If you get these errors, all you got to do is download the C++, which will be in the description down below. Go straight to Microsoft's website, and it will have you download the uh, Visual C++. And after you install that, then you'll be able to run it without a problem. So I'm just letting you know about that. So that is essentially it for this quick easy tutorial um, other videos for the GTA will be in the description down below and also in a playlist so if you all need questions comments concerns uh, of how to go through all the server settings and whatnot I will go through them in the next future videos so go ahead and give me a thumbs up uh, you know give me definitely give me that like also subscribe share my video content everything helps out support this channel and i'll show support back so anyways guys uh, enjoy your gta 5 server and we'll see you in the next video